Hi, I'm Shane. Today, we're gonna take a look at my Linux desktop and what I use it day to day for. Uh, I am actually currently running Arch Linux on uh, with KDE Plasma. I am still running the X11 mode of the desktop and not Wayland because I do need proper color management for photo editing and color grading with DaVinci Resolve. For my photography workflow and image editing, for editing my raw files, I mostly use Darktable. I also sometimes use raw therapy. But then for my image editing and thumbnail creation, I do use GIMP. Um, I actually can't wait for GIMP 3.0. Looks like the release candidates are gonna be coming very, very soon. And for vector graphics, I do use Inkscape. I use it mostly for text. I'm still in the process of using that program and learning it, but it's mostly used for text, advanced text stuff that I do load after the fact into GIMP or I'll load my raster images into Inkscape on its own layer and then put the vector-based text on top of it. For my desktop publishing, I do use Scribus in a very basic level, uh, but as of late, I have been running Windows in a virtual machine for running Affinity Publisher because I do need the advanced features of Affinity Publisher and the speed that I can set up presets inside of it for the beginning of each chapter to start on every odd page. So for now, I do use Affinity Photo in Windows inside of a virtual machine, but I am working with Scribus for some other very basic stuff like making like basic flyers and stuff like that. For my audio production, I was using Ardor. I have since switched over to Reaper for audio recording, and I do use ToneLib for guitar tones for when I'm recording guitar, because in my environment right now, I'm not really set up for miking a guitar amp or even an acoustic amp. I do use Pipewire with Pipewire Jack installed on my system. And I do use QPW Graph for moving around my routing of different things so I can route a guitar through ToneLib and then run ToneLib into Reaper. But then I can also run a DI track from the guitar directly into another track inside Reaper. So I can have a DI track to vent to if I don't like the tone I get Initially, if I decide to change my mind, I can then just reamp the DI track using that. So I make sure I always have a DI track that gets recorded alongside the track with effects. But with the recent 1.0 release of Pipewire, I did read some notes from uh, the developers. They are working on some more stuff in Pipewire for uh, Pro Audio under Linux. So I do look forward to that. I hope they do develop a tool like dedicated, like QPW Graph, but something kind of like QJack CTL, which you can use with Pipewire. But uh, I don't even bother starting a Jack server because Pipewire just works. Uh, but I'd like to be able to set my sample rate and buffer size before I even open Reaper and have it carry over to Reaper like it would have done using Jack. But it looks like Pipewire is heading in a great direction and I look forward to using it. And with more and more software coming out for Linux like PreSonus's Studio One, hopefully some more of the VST plugin people port more stuff over to Linux native. I do look forward to doing that. I have been using Linux on and off since 2004. Uh, mainly kept Windows around for my early photography work and gaming. 
but then I started to utilize Linux more and more as my Windows XP license would no longer activate. So I kind of forced myself to learn Darktable back then when Darktable was still at like a 1.6 version. But then Valve announced Steam for Linux, so I started to game on Linux during the time when the game had to be native to run on Linux. But then ever since Proton got released, and especially recently with the Steam Deck, um, for years now, I'd say two years before the Steam Deck, I've actually 100% switched over to Linux for my gaming. I do sometimes go into Windows and test out a game here and there, but it's usually just a bad experience because of my multi-monitor setup. So I just end up going back in Linux where I have no issues. With Reaper, Tonelib, and DaVinci Resolve being native on Linux, I've actually moved my production fully over to Linux for audio and video production. I've actually been thinking of removing Windows from my desktop, but then putting it permanently into a virtual machine, specifically, mainly, currently, only for uh, Affinity Publisher for the book creation of my wife's books. As she writes a book, I then take the Microsoft Office document and I can import it into Affinity and it just generates everything with predetermined settings that I set it up for and it literally takes almost no effort. Hopefully Scribus will advance a little bit more and start supporting some of those features uh, without crashing with very large page counts. But let me know, what do you use Linux for? Do you use Linux for any professional work or do you do some music creation uh, artwork creation, maybe with Krita. Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Bye.